everyone and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things fragrance and things that smell amazing. If you are new here, my name is Shanae. Thank you so much for watching. For today's video guys, I want to share with you my favorite smell good items for the entire month of October. So if you're interested in seeing what I've been enjoying for this entire month, just keep on watching. We're gonna jump right into it guys. I have four fragrances I wanna share with you and a candle as well. The first fragrance I wanna share with you guys is Chanel Coco Noir. I have been testing this one or I've been loving this one for the fall weather for about a year now. I love this one. Um, it does have the notes of bourbon, vanilla, patchouli, rose absolute and jasmine so this is a great fragrance for the fall in the opening you do get that kind of burstness of the citrus but as it dry down that's when you get the blendness of the rose and the vanilla it becomes an amazing scent for the fall weather to me this is a fragrance for a little black dress that's how i always see it when you have something black on i love to put this on for the fall in my opinion this is considered i would say in the middle of coco mademoiselle and coco edp to me it does have the depthness and the intensity but not as much as the original coco edp but then it does have less floral notes and more deepness than the coco mademoiselle this one is so warm and it's so heavy that I love it for the fall. It's not yet that cold where I live, so this is perfect, but it does have that depthness, warmness, but then it does have that citrus as well, so you're not overwhelmed with the deepness like the Coco EDP. The next one I want to share with you guys that I have been loving is by Rado's Bal de Flic. Um, I think you guys saw when I picked this up a couple of months ago, to me, this is my everyday scent i'm telling you guys now so it has bergamot it has the lemon in it it has marigold violet um amber musk now i think it does have some vanilla in it i'm not too sure but i know that it has my favorite scent vetiver or my favorite note which is vetiver to me this is an everyday scent i throw this on with jeans sweats if i'm running errands that's what this is particularly for it never does me wrong the le longevity in it is amazing that is why i don't mind it it is a pretty penny but i feel like for me as an everyday scent and because i wear it all the time it is worth it to me it's a very very complex amber scent that's kind of the only way I know how to put it it's kind of hard for me to explain like I said it is a little pricey but do I think it's worth it absolutely yes you will get compliments on this fragrance it is an everyday scent in my opinion it is something I would say get a sample of before you want to go out and purchase the bottle this is a 1.6 ounce they do I think have a bigger size like a 3.4 but this one is just good for me right now at the moment the next one I'm going to share with you guys that I only have a small travel size version of it. This is Tom Ford's Black Orchid. As you can see, I just have the smaller version. I don't need the big one just yet. This one is perfect for fall and winter in my opinion. It has the jasmine. It has black truffle in it. Ylang Ylang. I know it has black currant in it, patchouli and amber. This is Tom Ford's basically bestseller. Um, they do have Velvet Orchid, which is a little bit softer, which I've mentioned before, but this one, the, the original Black Orchid, they do have a parfum version now, but just the original Black Orchid is amazing. The aroma in this is definitely powerful. I'm gonna spray a little bit of it. Yeah, so you're gonna get the Black Truffle straight off the bat. To me, this is an absolutely unisex fragrance. Men can wear this, women can wear this, both will smell sexy. I don't think anyone leans more than the other. Everyone can wear this to me. It is not overpowering at all, but at the same time, at the same time, it does have lasting power and you won't smell that alcohol that you usually get in the beginning of some fragrances. When you spray this, you automatically get all the notes that you would in the top middle and then the base notes. I think the aroma is powerful. This is so honestly it's just perfect so definitely i have been wearing this non-stop for the entire month of october so this is tom ford's black orchid the next one i want to share with you guys i think i mentioned this in so many videos leading up to fall and i think you guys know i don't hear a lot of people talk about it this is juliet has a gun moscow mule when the cold months started or the cold weather started to seep in just a little bit i automatically picked this up so me all day long this one julia has a gun moscow mule and the byredo bob de Flique are anytime since for me for the fall 
ginger, lime, jasmine. This is basically a Moscow Mule in a bottle. So it's the cocktail in a bottle in my opinion. Like I said, an everyday scent. Um, I would say it's more so a morning, afternoon, kind of beginning of the evening scent. I wouldn't wear this after seven o'clock. That's just me personally. It, it just doesn't last that long. But I'm saying if you want it to be overpowering, because it's actually not, so I will be honest with you, it doesn't last too long. But for me, that's okay because I don't wear the same fragrance all day, every day, if you get what I'm saying. So like I will put this on if I, you know, the top of me. And if I think that, you know, I want more, I'll spray it on my clothing and it will stay longer. But if I'm just spraying it on my skin, I don't give it more than five hours, nothing more than that. This makes me think of fall all the time. As soon as I smelled it, I thought of leather coats, leather boots, a nice handbag, you got on plaid, the sweater weather, all of those candles are coming out, the fall leaves are dropping that's automatically what i think when i smell this fragrance but like i said it doesn't last too long so if you don't like fragrances that won't give you you know more than six hours and i would say probably this is not something for you but i love it i love the scent yes i got the big bottle because if anyone knows me a moscow mule is actually one of my favorite drinks so this is definitely a cocktail in a bottle Lastly, guys, I don't really mention things that aren't fragrance on this channel, but in my opinion, body oils, body lotions, candles, sprays, mist, whatever, all of those are fragrances to me because they all smell amazing. The last thing that I'm gonna mention to you guys is a candle. And this is Autumn by Bath & Body Works. And I love this candle for the fall. I'm just gonna let you guys know, as you can see, it's all the way down. So if you can see the side, it's gone, basically. I have been burning this since October and it's actually gone. I go through candles periodically a lot. So I only brought up, I actually bought this candle this year and it's basically, I got one more use out of it and it's done. It has the apple, it has um, fig, eucalyptus, it does have balsam, and then it has some um, essential oils in it as well. This is a fall everyday candle. I can burn this at 9 a.m. and I leave it in my room, let the window open, and I won't blow it out or um, diffuse it until maybe about six or seven, and it doesn't overpower the room at all. This is a fresh citrus scent. It's nothing that, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't like pumpkin. So, or anything that smells like pumpkin, I'm not really a pumpkin person. So like the pumpkin latte spice stuff, that's not for me. It's, you know, other people might like it. I don't really like it. I'm more of a fresh fall, woody scent person in the fall. Not really a pumpkin latte sweet person. I don't really like that pecan waffle. I'm not, that's not me, I'm sorry. But I love this particular fragrance. It does have a great balance of the apple and the balsam i definitely love it because of the eucalyptus so it does give me a calming feel when i um light it throughout the day i definitely recommend going and smelling this at your nearest in bath and body works i know they give coupons i personally have never bought a candle from bath and body works for full um full retail price i'm just not doing it so i know with the upcoming seasons they'll be having a lot of discounts so i definitely recommend going out and seeing it and smelling it so this is bath and body works autumn so there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed my favorites for the entire month of October. Let me know down in the comment section below what are some of your favorite October fragrances and smell good items. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you like the vibe on this channel and also hit the thumbs up letting me know you enjoyed this video. And until the next one guys, bye.